Well, good afternoon. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. We have some activity with 91L. That's the invest that we've been watching through the Gulf of Mexico uh, over the last several days, even when it was before before it was over the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, now that it's very close to the Florida coastline, it's showing some signs of development. And the National Hurricane Center is looking into whether to upgrade it to a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the next couple of hours. We'll provide another update uh, if that happens. Needless to say, uh, strong storms and some very heavy rain are moving ashore in uh, the panhandle of Florida. You can see from the satellite picture here, and I'll put on the arrow, you can see this is the area that we're talking about. And you can see some sort of uh, perhaps low-level circulation down in here. This is the visible satellite picture. Uh, but I want to go over to uh, the radar data and uh, show you what that looks like. Uh, this is National Weather Service radar data out of the uh, panhandle of Florida. And you can see what's going on here. Their yellows and uh, oranges are very, very heavy rainfall. And that is moving inland. As a matter of fact, special marine warnings have been issued. But look, just to the south there, you can see some sort of uh, a rotation perhaps around a center uh, spin, uh, which could be the center of low pressure system of the low that's moving towards Florida. And uh, it is showing signs of some perhaps tropical or uh, extra tropical development. I would think more tropical development right now uh, with the pressure going down rather quickly. Uh, but needless to say, the showers are increasing. Flooding rains uh, will be uh, occurring over the Florida Panhandle uh, through the night tonight into southern Georgia uh, during the day tomorrow. And so I want to go over to uh, GeoCollaborate here, and I'll show you what's going on. So uh, with GeoCollaborate, you can see the area of X here. That's uh, gone up to 80% likelihood of something developing before uh, it makes landfall. So I'm going to dive in here rather close. You can see the special marine warnings in Panama City. Uh, there is a flood warning, uh, an aerial flood warning that's been issued because of the rain uh, that's been moving in. And let me see if I can get to the uh, weather radar data, and I'll turn that on so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there we go. So we have heavy rain that's moving inland, uh, some thunderstorms as well. And if this uh, gets upgraded to a tropical depression, uh, then perhaps tropical storm warnings uh, will be issued in the next couple of hours. So this has taken a rapid turn, and the storm is starting to organize uh, into a storm. It was just an area of, of uh, thunderstorms. Uh, but now it's really showing some signs of developing. So uh, those of you in Tallahassee and uh, uh, Valdosta and southern Georgia, Waycross, over towards Brunswick, uh, you'll be having some heavy rain, potentially flooding rains, uh, as this system moves through. When it moves off the coast of southern Georgia, uh, it has a, a less likely um, opportunity to develop further. The atmosphere isn't that conducive uh, for this system to develop further. Uh, but indeed, we perhaps have another tropical system that's developing, and uh, these warnings will be short-lived, uh, but the system is moving into uh, Florida, and it looks like down towards Gulf and Franklin counties, Panama City, uh, those areas uh, could see very heavy rain, even over towards um, Wakula County in Florida, Taylor County, Jefferson County. Uh, expect some heavy rains to move in over the next several hours as this system comes in. So we may have a named storm uh, in the next uh, couple of hours here off the coast of Florida. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and the Sensitive Information Sharing Environment for the Fleet Response Working Group, uh, providing you updates uh, for the GeoCollaborate dashboard. We can keep updated on all the tropical activity that's forming. Larry, meantime, remains out to sea. Uh, it will be impacting Bermuda with some tropical storm force winds and some large waves but it will not directly impact uh, the island with hurricane force wind. We'll keep you updated, and uh, thanks a lot for watching.